Today we will talk about loan words. What are loan words? A loan word, also a borrowing, is a word at least partially assimilated from one language into another language. Loan words, therefore, are borrowed words. And when we talk about loan words, there are two languages involved. First is the donor language. That is the language from which the word was borrowed. It is also called the source language. The next one is the recipient language. It is the language into which the word was borrowed for. That is the language whose lexicon the word is part of. Sometimes it is also called the target language. Now, why do we need to borrow words? The main reason for borrowing is to provide a word from the source language variety when there is no suitable existing word in the target language. So, for lack of suitable or very good words we borrow from other languages. Now what distinguishes a loan word from a cognate? Cognates are words in two or more languages that are similar because they share an etymological origin. Take for example dentist in French and dentist in English. And when we speak about the origins of words, we talk about etymology, which is the study of the origins of words. It refers to the derivation of a word or the chronological account of the birth and development of a particular word. On the other hand, lexicon is the vocabulary of a person, language, or branch of knowledge, whereas lexicology is the study of the form, meaning, and use of words. Loan words from languages with different scripts are usually transliterated, but they are not translated. Now, what do we mean by transliteration? Transliteration changes letters from one alphabet or language into corresponding similar sounding characters of another alphabet. Let's take the example here. The Indian Drishti is transliterated into English as Drishti. Translation tells us the meaning of words in another language. Let's take this Portuguese phrase, O gato bebe agua, is translated into Spanish, El gato bebe agua, which in English it means, The cat drinks water. Gato means cat, agua means water. This time, let us talk about cock. A cock is a word or phrase whose meaning or idiom is adapted from another language by word-for-word -word translation into existing words of the recipient language. Let's have these examples of cocks. The French Pom the Adam. In English, it means Adam's apple. 
The German beer garden. In English is beer garden. The English table tennis is translated into Spanish as tennis de mesa. What do you mean by adaptation? Adaptation is very much related to cultural translation. This technique is used when something specific culturally in one language occurs and the translator cannot find its equivalent in the target culture. So, they simply adopt. When a loanword is fully adapted to the rules of the target language, it is distinguished from native words of the target language only by its origin. Calc is a loanword from the French calc, meaning tracing, imitating, or close copy, while loanword and the phrase loan translation are calcs of the German Linwort and Linübersetzung. So the origins of words are very important in understanding what they mean. Let's have some examples of loan words and their origins. First, café, from French café meaning coffee. Two, bazaar, from Persian bazaar meaning market. Three, kindergarten, from German kindergarten meaning children's garden. Now let us have examples of loanwords and phrases in sentences. 1. The Queen's tiara is the most expensive jewel of the royal family. Tiara comes from the Latin, Ancient Greek, and Persian tiara, denoting the Persian royal headdress. Jewel comes from Old French Jew or Jewel from Latin jocus meaning chest. 2. Pneumonia is one of the major diseases in the world today. Pneumonia comes from the Greek pneumon meaning lung and disease from mid French disease meaning lack of ease or lack of comfort. 3. We enjoyed the sauna bath and a smorgasbord of Italian cuisine. Sauna is a Finnish word referring to both traditional Finnish bath and to the bathhouse itself. Smorgasbord is a Swedish word from smorgas, meaning slice of bread and butter, and gas or goose, and board, meaning table. 4. I used an avatar as Facebook profile as protection from fraud. Avatar from Sanskrit avatara, meaning descent, and fraud from old friends fraud, or from Latin fros, or fraud meaning deceit or injury. 5. His brother is an albino, but very good in karate. Albino from Portuguese, derived from Latin albus, which means white and karate from Japanese kara meaning empty and te hen, literally empty hen. Karate is a Japanese martial arts. 6. My favorite drink is vodka, while slalom is my favorite game. Vodka is a Russian fermented drink from sorghum, corn, rice, rye, or wheat, while slalom is a Norwegian meaning sloping trap. 7. My grandfather was a guerrilla who fought against the kamikaze. Guerrilla is derived from Spanish guerra, meaning war, and kamikaze is a Japanese for divine wind or god wind. A Japanese aircraft loaded with explosives and making a deliberate 
suicidal crush on an enemy target. 8. She loved wearing pajamas while doing yoga. Pajamas from Persian pai, meaning leg, and jama, clothing. Literally, a clothing for legs. Yoga comes from Sanskrit yuj, meaning to join, to yoke, or to unite. That is why in yoga, we aim for balance. 9. They installed buoys in the sea as warning devices for tsunami. Boy comes from Old French buoy or Middle Dutch boy, meaning beacon or signal, while tsunami is a Japanese for su, harbor, and nami means wave. 10. Vigilantes are blamed for unsolved murders. Vigilante comes from Spanish, meaning vigilant. Murder is an old English for mordor, or that's murd. In Sanskrit, it's mara or death. In Latin, mors, or old friends, murder. Murder means killing or annihilation. 11. Russia has nuclear weapons in its arsenal. Nuclear from the Latin nucleus, which is a contraction of the Latin nucleus pertaining to small nut, and arsenal is an Arabic contraction of darasina, meaning a manufacturing shop. 12. She is an icon of democracy. Icon comes from the Greek akon, meaning likeness or image, while democracy comes from Greek demos, means people, and kratos, means power or rule. So the people will be the power to rule the city-state. 13. I love eating salmon with Parmesan cheese. Salmon comes from the Latin salmo, which came from salire, meaning to lip. And Parmesan is the English translation of the Italian Parmigiano or Reggiano. This is a cow's milk skimmed at a different age or level and added with thermophilic lactic acid bacteria to be exact.